Yo! What up guys and welcome back to another one and look where we are today. Oh yeah, we're at the big lake. Only about 30 minutes away from the house today. But today we are going to be hitting docks just like this one. Big boat ramp docks. Yep, just like that one there. Oh yeah. You never know what people drop to getting in and off of their boat. So, should be pretty exciting. And we got dad back with us today. So we're gonna have two magnets in the water. Should be amazing. Plus, I'm using one of my new magnets today. We'll get to that. But first, today I have to tell you guys, Ducks Waterfowl is doing something great for the Nebraska flood. They have a special shirt, this one right here. The 100% of the proceeds go to the Nebraska flood victims. It's very special. It's a very awesome thing that Ducks Waterfowl is doing. So if you guys wanna help at all, Go down in the description below, go pick you up a Nebraska Strong shirt, and all the proceeds, like I say, go to helping these people that do. They need our help. I appreciate all your guys' help. It means a ton to not only me, but to the people that actually need the help. So thank you so much for the help, but let's get to some magnet fishing. Woo, it is a little chilly, holy smokes. But like I said, I do have a new magnet. Check out this guy. This is actually a side pulse. So it's got the magnet on each side, so it's a drag style, a side pull magnet. It's not very, uh, it's not very strong like my other one. I did bring my thousand pound along, but dad, he's gonna be throwing the thousand pound today. I'm gonna be throwing this new bad boy. Let's get down on the dock and give it a whirl. Well, here we are. What do you got going on? Dang, you haven't been around for a while. First, first time in eight months. Yeah, everybody welcome Dad back to the magnet fishing. He's already getting at it here like usual. 65 yesterday, 72 tomorrow, but only 50 today. It's cold. It is cold. We got a northwest wind today, so it is chilly. I got enough rope. Let me tell you what. Here we go. It's not too deep. That ain't bad. This little side pull action, this might be a, this might be a little better. I'm excited to try it. I think you can cover more ground faster because you're not just sitting here bobbing it up and down real slow, having to move slow, you know. You can just pull this thing. This should work. Yeah, you can cover some ground with this thing. You just pull it. Well, I just pulled it a long ways. I'm going to be able to make a few passes. We got absolutely nothing. I don't know, but it's a little chilly out here, isn't it? It's chilly. Oh, it's man. Chilly. Once these old mittens get wet, boy, howdy, I don't know if I'm going to be able to hold, fill my hands anymore. I about can't talk already because my mouth's cold. Goodness. Well, I've just been dragging this magnet underneath this dock back and forth. Got something? Dad got something. Let's go see what he got. Huh? What is it? Oh, you got it? Got it? Oh, what's that? What the heck? Oh. <laughs> I have no idea what that is. Yeah. Well, I came over here earlier and I got on something, but that's... Welded on handles. Yep, welded on handles on the top of it. Huh. Well, that's a big piece of something. I bet we ought to probably leave that here. Looks like it might have went down in there, or it's one of these pipes. It looks like a handle print of valve. I have no idea, but we probably need to leave that right where it lays, oh, you know I what bet. what that is? What? Look at this right here. Yep. That's a pin. Oh, that's a pin. Well, it was a lost pin until you found it. See where the bolt goes through it? Look yep. The bolt goes through there. Yep, there's a bolt that goes through there, right there. Yep, I bet that's the same pin as they used for here. They just had to replace it because they lost it. Well, now we found it for him. There you go. <laughs> well, it's been about 10, 15 minutes since I turned on the camera and me and dad have just been going at it here. And he found this. Luckily, uh, luckily for the park here, he found a pin that they obviously lost right where they found it. And then they had to make a new pin. This is uh, the pin that holds on the end of the pier, the, the end of the dock here. So I bet you they'll be happy to see that. I guarantee it. 
Oh, well, that's all for this, Doc. We tried. We tried the launching technique. You know, like I said on the last uh, magnet fishing video. And if you guys are new here, you need to hit that notification bell right down there so it notifies you when I upload. And you need to subscribe because during the summer, this is what me and Dad do. We go around to large lakes, large bodies of water, small bodies of water, popular bodies of water, popular docks. The fishing docks are the best. This is not a fishing dock. We have a lot more luck at the fishing docks, but we out of here. On to the next dock. Whew. My hands. Ah, my hands are froze. Goodness gracious. Hope you all enjoy these magnet fishing videos. If you do, you need to hit that thumbs up button right now. Your hands cold? Yep. Oh man, mine are froze. The red froze. It's supposed to get up to like 58 degrees, almost 60 today. But I think that's at five o'clock this afternoon. Right now we're sitting at like noon and it's 49 degrees, a whopping 49. It don't even feel like 49 degrees when you're standing out in that wind on the water, but we're headed to the next dock. We're gonna hit as many docks as we can today. That's our goal. We, Like I said, we drove 30 minutes. So we're gonna uh, give it our best shot and see what we can find. Dad already found something ridiculously good i mean honestly for the park itself that pin held that dock on you could tell that they had to uh you could tell that they had to have one made because they lost the other one so pretty good stuff always out here trying to help well we are here at the third dock of the day already all we found is a couple hooks and dad found oh, look at this hey lovely lovely people you know that's meant to be a trash can and all goodness people i preach do not do that we're gonna pick that up before we leave this dock i'll tell you right now but wish us some luck on this one because we need it oh it's not near as deep it's only a few foot deep good deal every other dock we've been on has just been really really oh never mind <laughs> yeah, not too bad Every other dock we've been on today has been literally 10 foot deep. Thinking this one might be fished on a lot more too, because it, this dock is a lot more secluded from the other ones we've been at. So, huh. my first hooks. What'd you get? First ones of the day. And that's the first. Ooh, two hooks. That's yeah. in your first deal pulling up. Good hey, man. we might have good luck here. First ones of the day. There we go. I'm just gonna go this strip right here and I'm gonna pull it up to see if I got anything because that's good that is a good sign dad already pulls up and gets a couple hooks let's see let's see if uh, see if I'm lucky enough to do the same thing pull her up and have something on that bad boy probably not oh -ho -ho! shotgun shell look at that okay. we're in luck now we found us a decent dock there we go Heck yeah, this is a good one so far. You got something? Nope. Dad feels something else over there. Heck yeah. Oh yeah. Got the spirits up, eh? Look at that. Oh, you ain't a real magnet fisher unless you're finding dip I'm cans. Gary Stern, look at that. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Last year, there was somebody that commented and said, you're not finding anything unless you ain't finding dip cans. Well, there you go. There's something dangling on here. Feels like it's barely on there. Oh my God, look at this, Dad. What'd you get? Oh, oh man, that is sweet. I gotta look at it. Oh my goodness. Wow, that look at the handle on that. That's a beautiful knife. Wow. <laughs> I yeah, I felt beautiful. it. Yeah, that's a nice one. Holy smokes, look at yeah. this. That looks like a custom made knife. I mean that is a very expensive knife and on the way down here i called that side first <laughs> wow that is sweet that is by far the prettiest most that expensive knife. knife that i've ever found that is beautiful <laughs> oh my goodness well i felt something on there it was bobbing every time it hit the ground i'd feel it i'd feel that magnet kind of go to one side and then to another look at that 
Well, uh, we found us a good dock. Cool. Now, we're gonna fish this thing extra hard. That's a nice knife. I gotta be easy with her. <laughs> Throw her out there, Dad. Throw her out there. What do you got? Bottle cap? Look at this. Got the old bottle cap. Didn't what you got there? Like a... Look at this. Dad with the first bottle cap of the day. Usually we find a ton of these things. People, throw your bottle caps away. Don't be throwing them in the I'm water. Gonna... Telling you what, this dock is producing. Look at that. Got an old nail. Man, something's bobbing up and down on it again. I can feel it shaking every time I hit the ground. Oh, anything on there? Just a couple hooks. I'll take some hooks. I'll take the hooks. Oh, look at that. Fishing pole holder off of a boat. There you go. That's a good find. Usable. Best find for dad of the day. Look at that. Oh, no, don't rub it in. <laughs> it's going to be hard in. trying to beat that knife, boy. You better saddle up. Better saddle up. Yeah. You better saddle up and get that magnet to jig and... Oh, man, there's something heavy right here. Wow. Oh, man, it's real heavy. Oh! I might be caught. Or that's something heavy. Oh, there... There's something really heavy right there. I almost, I almost lost my magnet. Well, the luck that we're having, I'm telling you, we'll probably be at this dock for quite a while because the deal is, what I've learned is when you pull out things right off the get-go, doesn't matter how good, expensive, little, big, small it is, if you're finding stuff right off the get-go, it's a good chance that you're going to find more and more and more. It means that dock is a popular, popular dock. So, we're going to really give this one a go and fish her out pretty hard you know it's uh it's wild how the good docks really reveal themselves really fast you know we got down here dad found like a bottle cap and this and that right off the bat and then i found the knife and then he found the uh, fishing pole holder it's just crazy how you catch everything right off the get-go and now we've been here for about 20 minutes uh it's been about 20 minutes since i've turned on the camera and we haven't found anything so it's very easy to find the good stuff if you're trying, if that makes any sense. So a lot of times you're gonna find those uh, obvious items right off the get-go and then it's gonna kind of trickle off. Oh man, I got something on here. What's that? That's a big old piece of metal. A Coors Light cap and a bunch of small hooks. Check that out. Oh, what do we got there? Look at that. That big old nail. Got one nail, two nails, then look at that. End of a fishing fishing rod. There's a fishing pole in there somewhere. But when we get to the end of uh, fishing a dock here, when the luck starts to run out after about 30 or 45 minutes, like I said before, oh, I just start chucking it. Chuck her out there. Spray and pray, baby. That's my motto. Until you get stuck like that. I always just start chucking this magnet right before I uh, leave the dock. Never know what you might pull back. Well, Mike's Hard Lemonade. Shout out to old Bonzel. Man, it always feels like I got something on there and I don't. Nothing. Again. Well, what do you say we go try another one? I'm ready. I think we've been here for about an hour, haven't we? I'm ready to warm my hands up. <laughs> my hands are froze. This is a really small dock, as you can tell. We have been here for at least an hour, and I think we've taken everything out of it. But like I promised, let me have your bucket, Dad. I'm going to pick this uh, trash up here. Oh, well, there we go. All cleaned up telling you guys you got to keep your waterways clean it's a privilege to come out here and fish and enjoy mother nature when we want to but if we don't take care of it things can be taken away here's the knife here what a looker she is on the back here 
It does say Pakistan on the top of it. You probably can't see that very well. But Pakistan is all it says. And then it says O-E. Do you guys know what type of knife this is? Seriously, if one of you are watching right now and you usually don't, drop a comment down below. If you know what type of knife this is and you know how expensive it is or how cheap it is, if it's worth anything at all, please drop a comment down below and let me know because that is one beautiful, beautiful knife and I'd love to know more about it. Just like Dad said, he said, I can guarantee you someone is not happy that they lost that bad boy. Somebody cussed a little bit when I dropped that in the water. <laughs> yeah, that's a nice dude right there. That's something you get as a gift from your wife for Christmas or something. I mean, that's, that's a beauty. But these little docks like this, this is where people want to hang out, drink a little bit, fish a little bit, and lose stuff just like that knife. Next dock we go. Well, here at the next one, and yet again, just littered with trash everywhere. Seems like these docks that are back in, uh, back in their own little areas that people feel comfortable to come and party at, that's where you find most of the trash. People, come on now. Come on now. I don't have to repeat myself. Pick up your trash. Don't be a litterer. But I do have high hopes for this dock because it's a nice, good, old-looking dock in a really good location. People have to come out here. Actually, I know they do because there's a TV over there that's all broken up next to a burn pit that someone been shooting with a gun. What'd you get? Oh, <laughs> Dad and his multi-tool. Look at that. No way, right there? Right there. That's close to the bank. First one of the year. Look at that guy. been in there for a while. Yeah, look at that. Oh, I don't think it's gonna work too well, been but in there, for a while. there you go. <laughs> been in there for a while. Good find. We got a knife and a multi-tool today. That's awesome. And that was a decent one too. Yeah. Well, like I said, that only took one second for dad to find that. These old docks back here in the woods that people want to come and party at. It's where they get drunk and start losing stuff. Look at this. Really old bottle cap. Don't even know what kind. And a bolt. Oh, what do we got here? What do we got here? A metal wrapper of some sort. I don't know what that is. And then piece of metal of some sort another bolt a screw two screws geez we got a another bolt man Ooh, there is there's a lot of little pieces of metal down there let me tell you what look at this we got a spring got another corona light that's old what's this one that's an old bud light what's this one and that's so old of a bottle cap, I don't know what it is. Three bottle caps in one go. People, stop throwing them bottle caps out in that water when you're cracking up them ice cold beverages. Well, you know what time it is. Chucking time. Nice throw. Me and dad, like I said, before we leave docks, we just start throwing these things. I'm telling you, it's a last ditch effort. Ah, to find something. I think this is about the 20th time I've been throwing it. I just threw that whole side. I threw that whole side. Dad is on the boat ramp itself. You never know. You just never know. Like I said, you just never know. Look at that whole little swim jig. Isn't that what that is? little boot tail swim jig oh yeah that's a reusable one put a new hook on that guy well we're wrapping it up here but like every other magnet fishing video that me and dad do at the end we show you what we found some of our favorites some of our least favorites we'll start down here on this end oh yeah the old bottle caps you know you know we're always going to be finding bottle caps and the occasional chew can lid Usually we find the entire can. Uh, did find a used shotgun shell today. That's a little unusual, but Dad found the fishing pole holder. Oh, what a find that was. That's a really, really good one. 
Then, Dad, I swear, you find multi-tools. Multi you you find more multi-tools than I can tell you anybody else on this planet. That's my favorite thing to find. And just like the old pretty knife, Dad found this right, the first thing that was found at this last dock over yonder. You always find, I don't care if it's me or you, we always find the good stuff, literally, right at the beginning of a dock. It seems like we find the stuff right at the beginning when we walk up to the dock and then we find it in the first five, ten minutes and then it's dead and we don't find anything else. But of course, this bad boy has to be Sweet. the best find of the day. Right. You know, a lot of, okay, 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 a lot of you viewers that have been here since last year, a lot of my long-term magnet fishing subscribers know that me and dad, it's always a friendly little competition when we come out here and we're always in competition who can find not the most stuff, but the best stuff. A multi-tool and the fishing rod holder would usually win, would win the deal, you know. Yeah. But that, that's a rare find. I don't, I've never found a knife that knife, Beautiful. knife, nice. Never found a knife that nice whatsoever. This is, uh, this is one that you found last year, isn't it? You found this last year. Oh, that's that real nice pair. This is a nice pocket pair, but I'm going to see if I can make these look as pretty as those that was pulled out of the water. Oh, that's what's up. And I'll show you later on if I can accomplish it, which I think I can. These will look just as nice as those that you pulled out of the water. Old dad, he loves reusing stuff, especially stuff that he can throw in some gasoline for a while and shine up. Nonetheless, I guarantee you. So it says O T O E again. Drop a comment down below. Let me know if you know what brand this is and how expensive it is. I've already tried Googling it and I can't find much on it. But I did start out with the new side pull magnet and ended up moving to, to old Bertha here. Oh, yeah, old Bertha. And the reason is, is that, that side pull magnet, it's small. I don't think it's over 300, 350 pound pull. My 1100 pound, 1150 pound, that's what I use most of the time, the Big Bertha, it literally grabs anything and everything, so. But like I said before, the Nebraska Strong T-shirt, big shout out to Dex Waterfowl for putting up this T-shirt. All 100% of the proceeds go directly to the flood victims in and near Omaha. Nebraska flood, it's a bad one, guys, because you know that these people out here, these poor people have lost homes, cattle, tons of animals, cars, you name it. It's been flooded, and it, it's gone. But thank you all for being here like always. I am so glad that the magnet fishing season is back upon us. That was a decent day, wasn't it? First one of the year for me, and it's going to get better. Oh, yeah. we got some new stuff coming on the way this, this week. Yeah, we do. Can't tell you much about it, but be expecting a new magnet fishing rig that dad found on Amazon and he bought that bad boy and it's going to be it's going to be pretty interesting to see if this new magnet fishing rig works. But till next time, no littering guys. Throw away your trash. Keep these waters, keep the land clean. Subscribe if you have it. We'll see you on the next one y'all. Peace.